On August 1st, our family, along with seven other team members from Raleigh Road Baptist Church, flew to San Pedro Sula, Honduras for a week-long, life-altering mission trip. It was great learning a new culture and experiencing new things, while at the same time seeing how God has His arms wrapped around these amazing people in Honduras. We were able to serve in many capacities, including at Sparrow Academy. Their mission is to plant gospel-centered churches and break the cycles of poverty through education, transforming lives and communities with the love and truth of Jesus Christ. It was a wonderful experience playing games and spending quality time with the children in their own environment. We enjoyed outdoor games as we helped out at Phys Ed. And of course, we couldn't resist playing a great game of soccer. We enjoyed a great morning over at the Asila Nursing Home singing songs, dancing, time of devotion, playing games, and so much just enjoying time with these older people who feel they have been forgotten. Additionally, we were able to spend time at the VITA, a men's recovery center. We have a group here from North Carolina. We have a group here from Carolina del Norte. And we're here with Sparrow Missions. And we're here with Sparrow Missions. And I was thinking this morning about brokenness. Y estaba eh, pensando esta mañana acerca de quebrantamiento. I was thinking about how so many things in this world are broken. Y estaba pensando acerca de que muchas cosas en este mundo están quebrantadas. Vacation Bible School was a big hit at La Carosa Church, where we enjoyed time with the children playing games, crafts teaching them about how Jesus walked on water. Numerous opportunities allowed for the ladies to gather and enjoy a time of devotion, testimonies, and a watercoloring project. As you can see, it was a wonderful time fellowshipping with other sisters in Christ. After Sunday service and a very full week of serving, we went to a waterfall where we enjoyed time relaxing and zip lining in addition to going behind this amazing waterfall. It was a great time of fellowship with many as the week was to come to a close. We so appreciate the translators and their efforts to communicate through translation. What an amazing week being the hands and feet of Jesus in Honduras.